Senator Cotlin. Margaret O'Kerry, I'm, I'm loath to refer to my good um, friend and colleague, Senator Ned O'Sullivan's seagulls, but I witnessed something on the way from the House last night, and I feel I must give it a mention. Sorry. Sorry about that, Senator. But um, last night as I left this house, uh, opposite the corner of um, Molesworth Street and Frederick Street, and again separately at the corner of the Green and the top of Dawson Street on the left, I witnessed something in both instances where these gulls, who seem to have a voracious appetite and can wreak havoc with their beaks. You know, the business people... What? The business people... And you know, unlike other birds, they don't seem to understand bedtime. This was late enough. <laughs> um, anyway... Do you want legislation? <laughs> Not yet, but I want, I, want, I want advice for business owners who are putting out these plastic bags, bundles of plastic bags. And these birds with their beaks have been destroying these. And I witnessed it in both these locations last evening. They'd hardly move out of your way. They're perched on ledges ready to swoop. And then you have litter strewn all over the place. I mean, we're talking about bin charges and management of waste and so on. This is terrible in our cap in the city. And Senator Norris must be witnessing too throughout the place. But maybe some of Pulse of spray must be found to spray if they're going to continue to put out these plastic bags. Or maybe they should be encouraged to have the wheelie bins because the plastic bags are leaving litter all over the place. And I witnessed it last night and I thought it was disgraceful as tourists walked around the place after 11 o'clock.